Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Cuboid Outpost. And um, I've been busy. Been very busy. Actually, let me turn around. And you can see I've got a kitchen. I have a kitchen. We've got... Um, I didn't realise that cook cooking for blockheads was in the... Um, was in this mod pack, so um, I've never really gotten into it, that and Pam's. And of course there's a whole big old quest, there's a very pretty quest tree um, with all the seeds. And I started doing that because obviously that's not the kind of thing you want to do on camera, because basically all you're doing is, I mean I'll, I'll show it to you guys when I go downstairs, but you're basically um, pairing two sets of seeds. And putting them into the quantum transmuter. It's a quantum transmuter? I think that's what it is. And um, you're getting a new seed out of it. So, you know, I've got lots of foods in the fridge now. I've got stuff like rhubarb and corn, agar agave, agave, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, cantaloupe, okra, parsnip, kale, all kinds of healthy stuff. And with um, we're cooking for blockheads. Basically what it is, it's a multi-block. It's basically one big old multi-block. You can make different things. So you make the sink. I changed out the sink because this sink is the same as the one that's downstairs, the infinite water source. And you get a cooking table, an oven, you can make kitchen counters, they have floors, you can go with it so that if you have things all over the room, they're all connected. You have the spice racks as well, which holds utensils, but they're also connected to the oven. I shouldn't say that, they're connected to the cooking table. And basically what you do, you have food in one of the cupboards. Because also, the kitchen cupboards, they don't just look pretty. They're actual, um, the storage. You can store food in there as well, and the toaster. And there's quite a few other things. And you put all your food, so... All my food right now is in the fridge, which is also cooking for blockheads, which I didn't notice, you know, but there you go. And um, when you go to the cooking table, it will look at everything that's in the fridge or anything that's in the multi-blocks, and it will show you the recipes that you can make. So, for example, there's, sa there's seaweed in the fridge so I can make dried kelp. Because I've got um, fuel in the oven, it will cook the kelp. And I can make it, right? Uh, did it make it? I think it is making it. If you look in the oven, yes, it's just made dried kelp. And there's a whole set of other foods that you can make. It shows you, um, if it's something that you can eat, it shows you the um, how fulfilling it is. You can click to see the meal and it will show you. It used this particular thing, Surf and Turf, uses the cutting board. And the cutting board is up here. So as you can see, it's a multi-block, it's all connected. And um it's very yeah, it's very easy to get to get into. So let's have a look. So you start with the cooking table, and the cooking table is polished uh stone or any stone, and the cooking for blockheads two book, right? And the book is the cooking for blockheads one book, and how you get that. You um just take a book and you put it in the in in a in a furnace. So you basically just cook the book, and then you get a cookbook. <laughs> That's so stupid. But anyway, so you get the set, you get the first edition. Then you um do this recipe to get the cooking for blockheads two, and you can have it in your inventory and use it, or you can put it in the. No, I don't actually. I don't know if that's true. I've never done that. I've always just done it as part of the cooking table. You turn it into the cooking table and then you can get lots of, you can make lots of food. So because we have Slice of Life mod in here, and Slice of Life is basically the mod that lets you know what you've eaten and gives you the extra hearts for everything that you've eaten. And there is actually a book that you get with that that shows you all the things that you've eaten. Um, now that I think about it, I'm not quite sure where it is. And we go through 
Oh, I can't remember where I put it. I remember offloading it and putting it somewhere. There's the seeds I've been making. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. What did I do with it? Or did I put it in this chest down here? I mean, this is going to be the focus of today. Not the food, but getting our storage sorted. Oh, I'm not sure where it is. Did I put it in my backpack? No. But basically, it's a book that shows you, you can make it with a, well, most mod packs, you can make it with a carrot and a book. But it just lets you know, I got it as a quest reward, and it lets you know um, what you've eaten and how many foods. There's over a thousand foods. I think it's 1,100 and something. There, there they are. So it's the food book from Slice of Life. And when you open it, it shows you how many foods you've tasted out of 1,166. I've had 28 foods. Um, I've gained 10 hearts out of 40 46. Um, uh, the minimum, minimum, amount of, minimum food value that you need to get in order to count towards milestones is 0.5. And um, I haven't tasted any boring foods and nothing is blacklisted. And... Shows you all the foods that you've already tasted. Okay, I'm guessing that if there's stuff missing here, there might be foods that I haven't, you know, foods that need to be filled in. I don't know. And these are not yet tried. So lots that we haven't. Oh, okay, this is the end of what we haven't, of what we've tasted. And then these are foods that we haven't tried. So sweet rolls. Uh, roast chicken, biscuits. Oh, we need cocoa beans. I've got to find a way to make cocoa beans. Oh, we've got pumpkins and melons that I need to put in a um, one of these things. And um, what else did I do? I went and bone milled um, the grass so I can get poppies and stuff. So I've been putting poppies in here. Poppies and dandelions. So we get, what was in this? Oh, there's nothing in it. Okay. Obviously I put that down for something and then totally forgot. But, um, so yeah, put those in to bone meal them. Hello. Goodbye. See, I like this. This pretty much, I mean, it one shots, um, what are those things? Those stupid things, creepers. I made a fishing hole. I was going to pretty it up, but I was waiting for the grass. To um to, to spread so I can put some you know so I can bone meal it and get some long grass around it. Um the seeds that I've been making, I have put them out here. So we've got sweet potato, we've got cantaloupe, we've got rhubarb, okras, rye, agave, parsnip, uh coffee, corn, all kinds of stuff. So, you know, in between episodes, I will be making more seeds because it's, um, like I said, it's quite boring. I don't really want to spend like episodes doing it, but basically this is where I've been putting the seeds once I've made them. Okay. That was weird. I just crashed. <laughs> Not sure why I went to open. I don't, I can't remember what I was doing. I was going to explain something and I crashed. Very strange. Um, right. I guess that's just. Um, I think that's that's a sign we need to get on with the, <laughs> with the uh, with today's episode. But that's what I did. Oh, seeds! I was showing you guys about the seeds. Um, yes, I went to open the book, and that's what made me crash. A bit weird. All right. So, um, digging up the dirt. Scroll back out. And I mean, we should take a, a second to just appreciate how pretty this looks. And it could be, it could have been a really complicated mess. But it's quite easy to understand once you know what you're looking at. Basically, um, we had unlocked, we'd made the, the garden cloche and a hopper botany pot. It wanted a botany pot. And to get in... You just had to finish iron brew and automated farming. So we did these a couple of episodes ago. And with your first round of sieving, you should unlock all of these seeds. 
the poisonous potato you will get from um normal potatoes you know obviously it's like a, a one in i don't know how much chance to get a poisonous potato then from each thing you'll notice that it has lines coming from it and it goes to another seed so to make rhubarb you need sugar cane and a bamboo seed you take it you put it in yes the transmutation table and you get a brand new seed all right then from rhubarb you can use rhubarb and oh yeah you could go down to winter squash but so winter squash is rhubarb and cantaloupe that gives you winter squash rhubarb and kale gives you broccoli but so i should have do i have an extra kale seed yes kale did i take all the rhubarb i think i did uh, do i have any in my inventory because once you've um once you've unlocked there's the rhubarb once you have the seed and you've grown stuff you can just put it in your um, crafting table or in a crafting table and it turns it back into the seed so even if you just make one of everything as long as you plant it and grow it then you get some back but did i pick up the other one yes i did so you take the kale and the rhubarb it will do its little thing and then you get broccoli and we get a brand new seed to play with and it just goes oh no, don't want to do that it just goes all the way from there so that's what i have been doing once you do this first line it unlocks um seed and feed seed or feed and from seed or feed where are we seed seed or feed i'm probably missing it no ah dirty in the dishes I'm looking for seed or feed and it should be dirty dirty in the dishes so once you've done that you click on this and that's where you get the food book from spice of life and you can start making all the dishes which is what i'll be doing anyway because i want to get all the hearts i don't usually get into hams and cooking and stuff but this time around i want to do it so you can do all the stuff or you can just do the bare minimum of completing at least four of the pentagon tasks and keep eating gruel and slurping broth if that's your thing. So if you just do four of these, it unlocks the next chapter, dishing up the meat. But I want to, you know, I want I want to do all of it. So I'm going to be, you know, doing that in the background. Um, Like I said, it's not really stuff that you really want to do on camera because, you know, it's it's just cooking. So yeah, there's that. But anyway, let's get on with what we want to do, which is getting digital. Right, so we've already accepted that. Uh, fluids crystal. You're going to need either a fluids crystal or a pure fluids crystal. If you don't have either yet, here's how you can get your hands on them. Get yourself a charge certis quartz, either from charging a certis quartz in a charger or by sieving crushed stone Cross, cross sky stone in a diamond mesh or better and toss the charged surface quartz a piece of nether quartz and some redstone dust in a puddle of water pure fluids crystal a slow method yeah this is one of the reasons why i didn't like um ae2 as well because of the whole you gotta sit there and wait for it um, obtain fluix dust by sieving dust with a diamond mesh or better create a fluix seed by combining fluix dust and sand toss the fluix seed into a puddle of water and wait a long time that's an understatement it's a really long time or you can create a fluix seed as above or crush sky or sib crush sky stone using an emerald mesh or higher and put the fluix seed in an enrichment chamber sounds like my kind of thing okay so we need to get some fluix crystals um crush sky stone I have sky stone. I did make some a while back because we have quite a lot of crushed. Where did I put it? Oh, here's the cru here's the sky stone dust, and then I believe you have to smelt it in order to get not smelt it. You put it in one of these machines. Maybe it's the enrichment chamber. 
No, not the purifier, is it? Uh, sky stone. Okay, sky stone. So, fluid transformer. Enrichment chamber. Didn't I just look at the enrichment chamber? I swear I just looked at the enrichment chamber. Um... Oh, no, I swear I looked in this. Anyway, right, so you put them in here and it will um, it makes dice, sky stone. Let's get a couple more and then we could crush them. Let's see what we get out. We don't get anything. Oh, Certis Quartz Seed, Certis Crystal. Okay, right, I have some more of these somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where I put them. All right, give me a second. I will be back. Okay, found it. Should have looked in that chest first. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. That's going very slowly. I should make updates for those. But there you go. All right, so we have Nether Seed Quartz, Certus Quartz Crystal, and Certus Quartz Seeds. All right, that's doing fine. And we said that we need to charge the Certus Quartz with a charger. How do you make a charger? Uh, you need Quartz Crystal or Pool. Okay. You can't do that yet. Okay, so, um, fluid seed and put it in the enrichment chamber. So we got, did we get any fluid seeds? Nether quartz, certus quartz. And we put these in the enrichment chamber. Uh, nether, seed, recipes, we want the recipe. So we can put them all in the enrichment chamber. There we go, fluid seed. Oh, you're not going to go in once there's stuff in the bottom. See, that's why it didn't work, because it had the stuff in the bottom. Alright, so that's doing its thing. And we have a pure fluid seed. Seed? Pure flu... A fluid crystal. Alright, and two sticky pistons. Okay, so... To get slime... You add bone meal to a barrel of witch water. Okay, well we have bone meal and we have witch water. I really should have set this up before, but I think I was just so excited to, um... Uh, where's my thing so I can one-shot you, because I have no idea where you are. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Come here. There you go. Alright, let's see how many slimes we can make out of this. At least 40. 40? 20? No, how many do I have here? I can't remember. Because I'm actually, I'm not sure these are all my barrels. I mean, these are all the barrels that I had. Can't afford to lose those. And the thing is, I just leave the barrels out here. It rains. And I end up with automatic witch water. Because there's mycelium under here. Because this is where I was mass producing witch water for something. 35. There you go, see? Actually, we could probably automate this. But not right now. Um, we'll be going this way. Right, so we need... we we'll put a chest in front here as well. Ah, sticky pistons. I need to make the piston first, which we can. don't know why it does that. Move. There you go. And put the piston on top of it. And we have a sticky piston. Why? Oh, we need two. Ah, I was just about to say, why have you not lit up like a little Christmas tree? And it's because we need to. Um, put you there. And you there. And we have two. Okay. And we have five iron ingots. And then we have to make an inscriber. So that was the easy bit, but you should now have everything you need to make your first inscriber. The inscriber is a tool that will be used to create new processes using a combination of energy, raw materials, and the appropriate inscriber press, kind of like a template or a mold. The problem is that you don't have any of the required inscriber presses, and we certainly did not ship any as part of the outpost usual kit. So we're going to have to make some. Yet again, the science division says they have a plan, and the next step is gathering up a few more raw materials one for each kind of inscriber press you're going to need. All right, so it's an inscriber that we need. Inscriber. Would help if I could spell it. Oh, that was easy. Well, they did say that was the easy bit. Um, bone meal. Oh, we're full again. Okay, 
So we need a block of quartz. I don't even know if we if I have any quartz in here. No. Alright, what's the other stuff that we need? A block of diamonds. Was it not going to uh we're full again? Diamonds. Alright, let's put these in here. Let's empty out. Let's empty out, let's empty out. Empty everything. Right, we want this back and the slime. The inscriber. Yes, would be good. Block of diamond. All right, I think we have everything that I think we might need right now. We take this back, put that in the thing. All right, so we need a block of, we have a block of diamond. We want a block of gold. What was the next thing? Block of quartz and a block of certus quartz. All right, we need more stuff. Certus quartz. Oh, we've got charged certus quartz. It's awesome. Enough for a block of quartz at least. Uh, another court do those as well um it was the enrichment i'm pretty sure i have nether court somewhere again we're going to do all right let's simplify this u u a r t z double click turns it turns this yellow you've probably seen me do this before but i don't think i actually explained what you do um one of i'm not sure if, if if there's a mod within JEI or this is a JEI thing, but you can double click the search bar, it turns, it has a, a colored border around it, and then it hi anything that you've typed in here, it will highlight it in your chests or whatever inventory you're looking at. So I'm looking for quartz, it highlights the Certus quartz, but I want nether quartz because I know I have nether quartz. So it makes it just a little bit easier. When I look, oh, we got Certus Quartz Dust. I'm not sure what you can do with that. Oh, did I put it? Actually, let me finish check these. But I think, oh, there you go. I knew I had some Nether Quartz. Right. But as you can see, that made it a whole lot easier than trying to, you know, looking in each one and then trying to see if it's actually in each one. Well, these are pure Nether Quartz crystals. Okay, that could work. But sure we need those for something. All right, a block of quartz. No, oh, it's in a four, isn't it? Okay. Do you actually play Minecraft? Do you know what you're doing? Sure you don't. Block of quartz. No, you don't want shift click. And what was the other thing? A block of Certus quartz. Is that going to be in a four as well? Yes, it is. Right, there's that. Okay, please acknowledge that you accept the risk. This doesn't sound good, but let's say at this point, you sh make sure you have a working molecular recycler. We do a working quantum transmutation chamber. We do a block each of Certus quartz, diamond, gold and quartz. We do by continue with this survival guide. You are confirming that you understand the risk. You might not have digital storage at the end of this if you mess up and absorb whatever is left of the cuboid core, which is probably nothing by the time you do this, of any negligence or wrongdoing, whether present, future or past. Please agree to this, grab a pickaxe and let's get this done. Now might be a good time to take everything out of your ME system that you don't want to risk losing or it might be stuck in digital form forever if this goes wrong. Really? Okay. Are we going to turn our base into... I think we're going to have to turn it into... Um, what do you call it? Chess City. All right, let me put, let me take out, because we have lots of stuff. Let me take out, put in chests, and I'll be back. Okay, so, um, might have gone just a little bit crazy. Made lots of, um, diamond chests. I didn't realize just how much these chests hold, but everything that was in my ME system held in these first three chests. Then everything that was in all these chests around the corner apart from the seeds the quantum the the singularities and these seeds vanilla seeds vanilla ish seeds um all fit into these four chests with a lot of room to spare so yeah i may have overestimated <laughs> how many chests i actually needed but it's all out the way so next thing all right so we've done that 
and remove your current storage disk from the ME drive and then pick up the ME drive. All right, storage disk, there's nothing in it. Move the ME drive. We have that. Um, yeah, ME crafting terminal or recycle stuff. Okay, take out the crafting terminal. It's got the facade around it, but I've got all of that. The crafting terminal, okay, we've got that. Go over to the recycler. Is this one? No. Cycle the ME drive. I probably should have upgraded it to a that'll, that'll do one. Or does it have a that'll do version? Probably. All right, we've got an engineering processor and glass cable. And recycle that too. Calculation processor and the ME terminal back. Excellent. Okay. Then put the engineering processor and the block of diamond in the, in the quantum transmutation table. It can duplicate it using a block of iron. Okay. Right. So all our stuff I had put in here. Block of diamond. Block of gold. Certus quartz and quartz. So we need to put the engineering processor and the diamond in the transmutation chamber. Engineering diamond okay and then we can duplicate it using a block of iron okay now all right we have that oh and feeding the me terminal back into the molecular recycler should get you a logic processor okay so the me terminal back in gives us that and then calculation all right we got that Calculation and Certus Quartz. Uh, calculation, Certus Quartz, that's going. Oh, Logic Processor, Formation Core, two bits of quartz glass. Awesome. And that's our second inscriber. All right, so Logic and Gold. So you need the Logic and the Block of Gold. Logic, Block of Gold. So then, obviously, it's going to be these. No, those two. Excellent. And now, at this point, you should have three of the four main inscriber presses. Uh, for the fourth, you're going to need at least, you're going to need one of the printed processors. You might as well make at least one now. Uh, check JEI for details, but essentially all you need to do is pop the press into the top slot of the inscriber and the material to use for the press into the middle spot and ensure that the inscriber has power. All right, uh, there's the inscriber. Where are we going to put this? Let's put that here for now. Okay, so we have presses. Let's see what we need to make the other press. Uh, press, we have calculation. No, we don't have calculation, don't we? Inscriber calculation. Oh, let me put inscriber. We don't have calculation. We have engineering. We have logic. We don't have silicon. We do have calcul. Oh, the it looks different on here. Or is it because? Oh, those bits in the middle are. Oh, the see-through. Okay. There's me thinking, oh, it's solid, and that isn't. That's why I didn't think it was. Right, so we need the silicon press. So you need, no. Oh, the printed calculation circuit plus a block of quartz. Okay, right. So we need to make these. Once you make these and then a block of quartz, that will give you a silicon press. Okay. So to get one of these, you need, mm, that's where we need the pure quartz from. That's calculation, pure crystal, and calculation. Calculation. We need to duplicate this one. Um, iron. How do you duplicate it with a block of iron? Duplicate it in an inscriber using a block of iron. Iron block, scriber. I, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm not going to. So we need calculation, your nether quartz. Oh no, we need certus quartz, don't we? 
Yeah, I'm really doing good with this. Didn't I put the Certus Quartz in? No, I put it back. Um, Certus Quartz. Yes. Okay, so we've got printed calculation circuit. Would it be easier if we just look at the recipes? Diamond. We don't have silicon yet, I don't think. Um, gold and Certus Quartz. Fuel Certus. Diamond and gold. All right, diamond we can get from here. Gold. We did calculation. Should I copy all of them? Maybe I should, just in case. Okay, so I made copies of all the inscribers just in case. Um, I don't know if I would actually need them, but you know, it's easier to do it at this stage. All right, so all right, so we've got that, and then any of the printed processors, a block of quartz. And that should make the inscriber pre sil uh, inscriber silicon press. Is these and a block of quartz? So that one, block of quartz with iron. Oh, in the quantum transmutation. Um, one of these, block of quartz, and that should give you the silicon. And then you can duplicate that with a block of iron. And let me, I've I've duplicated all of them just in case. Because I'm not going through all of this again. So we need to make an inscriber again. Okay, um, I made the printed silicon. Um, I forgot I wasn't recording. But basically, um, you can... I have brushed, I have quart, Certus Quartz Dust, which I got from sieving something. I can't remember what I was sieving. I had a whole heap of it. If you smelt it, you get silicon. And if you put the inscriber silicon press and the ball of silicon it gives you the printed silicon so we need that for the next step so uh diy calculation uh, diy processors now you have the ability to make your own calculation processors in in the inscriber to do so put these items in the spe in the specified slots in the inscriber uh, printed calculation circuit, redstone dust, printed silicon. Okay, I'll make one of each. Um, redstone might help if I actually look. Printed calculation circuit, redstone dust, printed silicon. Printed calculation circuit, redstone dust, printed silicon. Oh, I see. All right, so we need to make at least... Oh, is it finished? It's finished. All right, we need to make two others. Okay, a silicon press and... Oh, it can't do more than one. I think there's a different type of inscriber you need to make more than one. Uh, one, two. Okay. All right, so we've got that. Uh, logic, redstone and silicon. Uh, probably going to all be the same thing, isn't it? All right, so if we do that... Oh, it doesn't want that yet because it doesn't know what it needs. And redstone, that, and logic, silicon, redstone. So now, terminal velocity should be able to make an ME terminal again and multiples if we wanted to. Annihilation core, formation core, annihilation core. Didn't we get one of those cores? Formation core. All right. So how do you make formation core annihilation core? Right. ME terminal. Uh, is this a normal ME terminal? Right. Annihilation core. Uh, quartz, fluid dust, logic processor. You get two. Uh, annihilation core. Right. Got that. Right. Not a pattern terminal. Normal ME terminal. Missing logic and oh, an illuminated panel. And I used up my logic, didn't I? Let's see how you make the um, what was it? Illumination panel, glowstone, quartz glass. How do you make quartz glass? Glass and quartz dust. Um, right, quartz glass. Quartz glass gives us four, and then glowstone. We have glowstone over here. Illumination panel, and now to make logic processor. Right, logic processor was printed logic circuit, redstone, and printed silicon. We need a block of gold. Right, logic, logic, logic is that one. Block of gold. No, in the other thing, that thing. 
logic, block of gold. No? Alright. I thought I knew. Obviously not. Oh, gold ingot. Alright, close. I mean, it's the right metal, it's just a little bit too much of it, that's all. Logic, gold ingot, that, and then logic. Oh, we don't have silicon. I thought I might. Oh no, you can't make a stack because. Um, can't make a stack because it doesn't stack. I should really put a table out there. Alright, again. Yay! Okay, and crafting terminal. Need a crafting table. Pattern. The crafting terminal, we have that. And the drive. How much of that do we actually. We're just missing. So it's cable. Quartz fiber. Nice. Okay, so you. By this stage, you should be back where you started. Just put the ME crafting terminal and the ME drive back where you put it from. Put in your original 4K drive. So it was the drive, cable, and the terminal. Then we put back in our drive and we're back in business. Awesome. And we can look at expanding our storage to a refined inscriber. All right, let's at least get some extra storage. And then I can I can do I can do the rest off camera. If you try automating a standard inscriber, you've probably figured out it's not as easy as you'd hope. There's the refined inscriber which might be of interest. Okay, it's slightly more power hungry, but you can queue up multiple input items. So you can put a full stack in of what's needed for recipe and run. Okay. Right, the sides are color coded. Okay. In other words, it's bigger, better, fast. Hmm. Okay, we can do that, but I will do that off camera. Uh, housing storage, we can do that. And we get back some. How many did we get? Got two. Okay, not too bad. And 1K storage. Okay, we need another logic processor. 1K storage. Logic processor. So we need some gold. We have. And silicon don't have right uh silicon right and there and then silicon oh hold on logic processor so logic would be this the gold and then that silicon and redstone okay i i'm remembering it which is good i need one of those right we should be able where did i put my crafting table on the stick i probably shoved it in a in a thing somewhere all right in a chest 1k all right so we've got that and we get back three which is awesome and then the 4k okay, that needs calculation uh, the 4k let's just mission the calculation let's see if we can probably need some kind of quartz though for the calculation so we need another silicon um we probably need diamonds for the calculation isn't it it's all kind of color co color coordinated then calculation calculation diamond nope no certus quartz and then certus silicon redstone okay this is kind of easier than than refined storage but less easier than refined storage because you know i mean at least this has taken out all the all the stuff with the, the meteors because it's the finding meteors that really used to bug me okay get back some do we and then 16k is next i'm guessing we want glowstone uh 16k where's the 16k there's a 16k all right um we are missing calculation processor calculation is diamond isn't it calculation diamond nope and then we need silicon and calculation silicon redstone okay 64 and another calculation okay it's not going to take it because it doesn't know what we're making calculation is this one calculation that need silicon piece of silicon and then silicon oh, take that out at least it's noob friendly it's not going to let you make something by accident silicon redstone not that calculation um so two, three. we probably need more glowstone for 4k and we get 
another 64k awesome right so all right storage cell okay so can i take those back out once i've made them i don't know all right let's just put that's the 64 one anyway oh you can take it out awesome i probably should have done that then um well oh, a 64 yeah that's right but i probably should have done that when i had the other lower ones that's okay why is that oh, it was only a 4k not a 64k did i oh in the wrong thing ah oh, that makes sense it was only a 4k not a 60 but now we have lots of storage that should tell us oh it doesn't tell you how much priority i don't know how that works that's always confused me but yeah i should have made those drives when we had the lower ones so then at least but anyhow i'm going to make more um drives offline and i'm going to make i'll probably make the refined inscriber as well and get these done but we've basically finished with this chapter which isn't too bad it wasn't it wasn't as faffy as i thought it would be but like i said Hube has taken out all of the stuff with the with the meteors but that's okay all right so after we've done that we can go into tinkers which we've pretty much done i've done loads of it already uh digging up the dirt dishing up the meat okay we have to finish I have to finish dirtying the dishes i'll do probably do that offline as well and then we'll start on getting some some animals which should be interesting right so we've done a lot we've made an emmy system and i have more storage and i'm going to make more storage offline so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps it really helps to grow my channel it would help if i could get my words out properly um, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.